Hey guys, here is my background. Um, it's just a black sheet. I figure I would black out most of the background. Look at this, yummy. This is this one right here is the blue cheese. This one is the ranch. So, welcome to another keto mukbang, guys. I pre-ordered these. Uh, wings from a local uh, pizzeria I just got them double fried it naked no, nothing on them I'm, I'd rather have my own sauces this way I know what's in my sauces uh, this one here is the and it has the chilies in it it's the same sauce that I used when I make my general chicken here is a new one that I I've, I've made a teriyaki this is just buffalo and this one is garlic parmesan. Mmm, yummy. I did a video before this one, and in the description of the other video, other video, I have how to make the general chicken sauce and how to make the teriyaki sauce, all keto friendly, obviously. Uh, buffalo wing sauce is just Kerrygold butter and Texas pita, whatever hot sauce you prefer, and to your spice level this is just parmesan cheese and garlic powder and a little bit of parsley mixed together and that's it so let's start with this one it's got a lot of seasonings i'm gonna dip it in some ranch mm. This is homemade ranch. So many uh, recipes out there on how to make ranch dressing. Mm. I've been wanting wings. Are you going to sit over there or are you going to come over here? Hmm? Mm. So, <clears throat> I'm starting to work through some things, guys. Um, it's been just a thing that I've had to deal with for since my mother passed away. Just something I've been dealing with. Um. I don't know how many of y'all still have your mother. I lost mine in 2005 in April, which is coming up April 17th. Will be 14 years. I love crispy, crispy wings. She died of, I don't know if I've, I've talked about this before. I may have talked about this before in a, in a mukbang or a, or a, or a blog, blog before. I don't remember. COPD. And she had suffered with it for quite a few years. I'm excited for this one. I'm going to try it with no sauce or no. Mmm. That's good. A little too sweet. But very, very teriyaki. <laughs> Let's try it with some ranch. Mmm. Um, I 
I think next time I make the teriyaki sauce, I think I'll back off on the sweetener a little bit. That's a little too sweet <clears throat> for my liking. Good, but it's a little too sweet. <clears throat> All right, let's try the general chicken on its own. Tastes like general chicken. <laughs> I thought about putting some broccoli in there with it, but let's try that with the blue cheese. Pretty good. Mm. Very nice. <clears throat> so, I'm not mourning my mother. I spent a lot of years after she passed away mourning her. That's not the thing with me. Or not the issue that I'm going through. Although I do miss her. I miss her a lot. She was the type of person that I would call three to four times a week. You know? And... All of a sudden, that was gone. I didn't have that anymore. But, the thing I'm dealing with lately is, well, I won't say I'm dealing with it lately. It's, it's always been there. It's always been in the back of my mind. I just never told anybody about it until recently where it just kind of came out and it, it just really, something triggered it, we'll say. And when my youngest was two, I mean, she, she was born in 2000, so in early 2003, she was born in September of 2000, so her birthday's late in the year. So early in September, early in the year of 2003, I had gone home to visit, and home for me is Maine. And it was probably early summer, maybe even summer. Um, I always wanted my kids to be around my family oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so they know who their family was but they live so far away from Virginia I mean it's like a 17 hour drive if we drive it right straight through. So, when my youngest was two, she was two at the time in 2003, we went up there probably early summer. And at this point, oh, that's my oldest typing on Snapchat. At this point, it was getting much harder for me to travel with three kids and I'm sorry you guys my kids are typing on the ears must be burning um, it was getting much harder to travel with three kids so and at the time, my mother was in a wheelchair. She had had back surgery, I think, the year after my husband and I got married in, in 1995. And 
became wheelchair bound. So I had said to them, and I know it's not easy, but it's doable. We'll say that. I had said something along the lines of, I'm not coming back to visit until somebody starts to come visit me. Because at this point, I have been traveling back and forth there for years. I mean, I could drive that drive blindfolded. That's how, how long I have been making that trip. So, in protest, I didn't go back up there. Until on that awful day that I got a phone call, uh, it was probably a week before she passed, saying that she had been transported to the hospital. Um, you need to come home. It doesn't look good. So, of course, I immediately get an emergency flight out and fly home. And one week later, she passed away. So, I've been carrying so much guilt for not going up there for two years. Because I protested for two years and I didn't go up. Because she always said to me, because she was in a wheelchair, I don't want to be, you know loaded onto an airplane like cargo i'm thinking really you can you can still come nobody cares about that no nobody cares i care mm -hmm. is it worth it for you to come see your grandchildren come see my house she's never been in this house never stepped foot in this house um, uh, and neither has my sister for that matter. So, so it, she didn't come because she was too embarrassed to be loaded onto an airplane like cargo. But for that two years, I kept trying to convince her, come on, just come down, you'll be alright, it's just, it's quick, in and out. We had even thought about widening the doors because um, of the wheelchair. We thought about turning half of our garage into a bedroom so because there's no bedrooms downstairs or all upstairs she wouldn't be able to get up there and she never did so in that two years that i protested um she ended up passing away so i always carried guilt that it was my fault that my kids never got a chance to know their grandmother in the last, you know, two years of her, of her life because I chose to protest. And this stuck with me all these years. And now I'm at the point where I always go home. I always go home because... I fear that if I wait for my family to come here and visit me, I'm going to get that dreaded phone call again. You understand what I mean? So to avoid getting that phone call, I just drive that, that distance and I go home. <laughs> I just do it. Out of guilt. So I've been wrestling with that lately because of something that triggered me the other day. And I won't talk about it, but needless to say, it triggered me. And I'm at the point now where I want to protest again. 
my brother's been down three or four times. My dad only came down after my mother passed away. I think it was a year after she passed away. I want to put it this way. It's been like 12 years <laughs> since anybody's been down here. My sister has never been here. She never came to visit. So. Guys. I'm getting full. These are really super good though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've only eaten eight and already I'm getting full. So that's what's been weighing on my mind is do I protest again? I don't know. I just don't want to get that dreaded phone call. Now, I just don't want to get the dreaded phone call. And it's it's the guilt that I carry. Does that look good, you guys? That's guilt that I've carried for a long time. And I know it sounds silly. It really does. But I'm tired of the one making that trip. You no? Know? It's a long trip and it's not fun. But I do it because I want to stay close to my family. Guys, let me know down below what do you think. Do you think I'm being silly? I probably am. Seventeen <clears throat> minutes in. Oh, I didn't tell you what time it was. It's one o'clock. Stay away. From the bang drinks. That crap was so sweet. I couldn't even finish the blue raspberry one that I had picked up. And I think it spiked my blood sugar hard. I couldn't read the ingredients on it because it was blurred. It's like when they printed it on, the, the letters got really blurred. So it was really hard to read the ingredients. I suppose I could just Google it. But. Super sweet. I I have the cotton candy one. And I'm afraid to drink it. Really afraid. To drink it. And the reason I say I think it spiked my blood sugar is because the next day after that, I gained like three pounds overnight. How does that happen? It had to have been that drink. That's the only thing. I think what I had was a salad that day, a Southwest salad, and... I think ham and cheese roll-ups that day. And that stupid bang drink. And I'd never had one before, so I'm convinced that it was that. Alright guys, I'm almost 20 minutes in. So, <clears throat> that's what's been weighing on my mind. It's the, um, the guilt I've been having about 
all these years traveling home. And why I continue to do it. These ones are too sweet. If you make these ones, cut back on the sweet now. Super, super, super sweet. I'm not a big fan of the sweetness. Maybe it's because I haven't had it for so long, but not a fan. Good flavor, but too much, too sweet. Hey guys, <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm growing my hair out. It's at that stage where I can't do shit with it. Pull it back in a ponytail. That's about it. The garlic parmesan, I think, needed more garlic. They were good. Buffaloes are always good. These are a little sweet. I didn't like these that much. As you notice, I didn't eat too many of these. I'm going to eat them, but... It's better as... Um, general chicken. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming in and watching another Keto Mukbang. Got a nice solid background here so you can the food is more visible. Let's see how we can Anyway, thanks for coming in and watching another Keto Mukbang. Oh, excuse me. Too much. I think I ate like 10. And it would seem that that's, that's all I can eat. Thank you. Thank you. If you're new here, go ahead hit the subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you know when I upload another mukbang. Excuse me. Or one of my recipe videos. And. Thanks so much, guys, and I will see you, hopefully, Friday, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Love you so much. Bye.